Hi, we're the AYCC and we're here to explain what this carbon price is all about. These are big polluters Barry and Larry. Barry and Larry pump tons and tons of carbon pollution into the atmosphere every year. This pollution is harming our health and it's contributing to climate change. But Barry and Larry can keep polluting for free, so they have no reason to move towards cleaner energy sources. But luckily, there is a solution. This is Government Gillard. With the help of the Greens and the Independents, today she announced that every time big polluters put a ton of pollution into the sky, they have to pay $23. Oh crap! This gives polluters an incentive to switch to cleaner ways of doing things. Huh, <laughs> yeah right. I don't need a change. I'll just pass on the cost to my customers instead. I'm going to clean up my act, so I don't have to pass any costs on to consumers. My products will be cheaper and all of Barry's customers will come to me. And with the money raised from this carbon price, we can invest in renewable energy. Most of the money raised from big polluters will go to Aussie families and households, just in case some of them do try to pass on the cost to you. For most Australians, this money will be more than the extra cost they face. So although you may pay a little bit more for electricity, you'll actually end up better off overall. Some will also go to industries that find it harder than others to clean up to help them with the transition. And some will help protect wildlife and the environment. Some will even go to pay coal-fired power plants to shut down, which is good because the price won't be high enough to do that on its own. And because big polluters like Barry have been whinging and whining so much about having to pay to clean up the mess they made, some of the money will actually go back to them. Ridiculous, we know. But this money will reduce, allowing us to put more into renewable energy. Now only around 500 big polluters will have to pay this price, which means petrol and fuel is not included. That means the government will need to tackle this pollution by investing in public transport like high-speed rail and bike lanes. We know this policy won't be enough. We need to do much more if we want to make sure we have a secure future for young people. But overall, it's a big step in the right direction, and it can be improved. There are some great things that will come out of it, like money for renewable energy, for the environment and for families, and shutting down some coal-fired power stations. But there are also some not so good things, like petrol not being included, the price being too low and too much money going back to big polluters like Barry. But it does mean finally starting to do something about climate change. So let's get on with it.